Yes, amigos, I'm Maddie. And I'm Jordan. And we are Tangerine Travels. We are on our way to Plaza Andares because a few subscribers recommended that we head there. And since we saw the, the vast, ginormous market of San Juan de Dios yesterday, we figured we'd go to a little more modern version and see how that goes. Uber was a little bit more expensive than it usually is, so when that's the case, we often walk a little bit to where we're on a one-way street going the way that we're supposed to be going. Then we can often save 20 or 30 percent on the Uber rides. That way mm -hmm. and on our way we found some fresh cut mango from a fruit stand this giant thing which is probably the equivalent of like two and a half mangoes was just 30 pesos and he put chili salt and limon one lesson that we can impart on you anyone who might have a gringo palate like we do although we like spicy when anyone in mexico says no muy picante it's not very spicy it's spicy it's gonna be spicy and it'll sneak up on you the longer you eat it Plaza Andares, what are your first impressions? This place is nice, probably really expensive. I saw a Rolex store, so if that gives you any idea of what is here. This is probably nicer, as in fancier and more ritzy than any mall I've ever visited in the United States, and that includes places like Biltmore or Scottsdale Fashion Square, but there's not a whole lot open yet, so these are just our initial reactions. So we're gonna do our best to show you some of the stuff inside here without getting kicked out for recording. Again, still not sure if that's allowed or not allowed, so if you know, help us out in the comments. <laughs> Our Uber ride here ended up being 56 pesos, and it was about a 17 minute ride, and that was with Uber Pool. Oh, we didn't even end up having anyone join our pool. Apparently the water wasn't that nice. Vincent Kitchen Grill, which is just on the perimeter of the mall. It's actually between uh, a road, so there's shops on the other side. And Jordan, what did you order? I got huevos rancheros, which comes with ham, tortillas, eggs, and red sauce, and it was 98 pesos. And then I got an omelet with mushrooms in it, and that comes at the sticker price of 122 pesos. So when in the land of the rich people, you pay the rich people prices. <laughs> <laughs> One of the more expensive items on the menu is a salmon eggs benedict, and that's 175. So we're gonna eat a little bit of breakfast, and then by then I think everything in the mall should be open. We checked out some of the prices. What did you think? A little more expensive than the U.S. You get a nice women's jean jacket for $80, a pair of women's jeans for $40. I saw a men's t-shirt for about $8. And I think this this store is nicer than any Aeropostale that I saw in the U.S. Definitely. Ever. So it's much more high scale here. High scale? No, upscale. Upscale. High class upscale. High class upscale <laughs> <laughs> than in the U.S. This is interesting. It's not an Apple store, it's a Mac store. It's still in a glass box though, so that's the same. <laughs> now we're here in the food court area, which appears to be kind of a half moon shape with about two dozen places. Everything from Burger King, two sushi places, pretzels, and just about everything in between. a whole lot of brands that you would find in the U.S. from H&M to Hollister, Sephora. It does seem like if you needed anything and especially brands that you might be familiar with or really love, like for me personally Hollister fits me really well, you're gonna be able to find brands like that here with no problem. Not only brands inside the mall but restaurants outside the mall. It was almost exclusively restaurants that we have in the U.S. Years. Yeah. Your parking lot here, but it is 17 pesos an hour. No matter how many hours you stay. Yes. Parking lot is massive, by the way, so if you ever need a place to park your Mercedes, you're not gonna have any trouble finding it. We just got a donut from Krispy Kreme, and how much was it? 23 pesos. So I think that's about the same price as the US. Movie theater here, and the tickets 
appear to be 153 pesos for an adult ticket. And we've seen some more stores here that are either about the same price as the U.S. or more expensive. For example, Hollister was significantly more expensive than... And they had no sales. It's all the regular prices and the regular jacked up prices. <laughs> to this point hasn't told you the story. This place is huge. It actually reminds us a lot of Vegas in the grandeur of the buildings and the embellishments and everything that they put into the plants that are surrounding it. Just, wow. Oh! <laughs> The main area of the mall that's kind of in like one big loop. And across the street, there's even more stores. So we have Coach, Michael Kors, Michael Kors, some fancy store that only has five dresses displayed in the window. And there's, I don't know, probably three, four, five dozen along this whole strip. I don't know what the name of it was, but we just passed a watch store that had Rolexes and a bunch of other fancy watches that I don't even know the brands. Yeah, man, if you need or want to spend money, this is the place to do it. So I think that about wraps up everything there is to see here at Plaza Andares. What are your thoughts on it? It's a little rich for my blood. Yeah, to be honest, places like this, even in the US, I have never really felt that comfortable because I'm the type that's totally happy to buy clothes at a thrift store or on sale from the clearance rack and that kind of thing. It's not an enjoyable experience for me to be in a really fancy restaurant where I'm not sure which side of the plate that I need to put the big fork or the small fork on. And <laughs> So this is a really cool place where you can find a lot of brands from the US if you're interested in that. Just expect to pay higher prices than you would even in the US. US. But with that said, it's it's a really nice place. It's beautiful. The, everything is so well maintained, from the plants to the stores, the sidewalk, the everything. The public chairs we're sitting on right now are nice, padded, very comfortable. Mm -hmm. Maybe not as much for her because she's sitting on me. <laughs> it's an interesting chair, but I'd date it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. Did our best to show you all of the interesting architecture and the design of this place and all the different stores. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. And if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to click subscribe. And <laughs> gong that bell so you get notified every time we put out a new video about our adventures and travels in Mexico. See you tomorrow. Hasta luego.